I mean, just the way the car is just standing here on the regular streets, the way they move this line, merge in the body and then recontinue again here, moving all the way to the back. And now let's actually talk about the rear. Oh, yes. <laughs> this looks absolutely fantastic. And starting up the CLE 53. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this and today is actually the day. Today we will be testing the all new 2024 model Mercedes AMG CLE 53. So as you guys know Mercedes has discontinued both the C-Class Coupe and the E-Class Coupe and they've given us this, the CLE. So with dimensions wise more of a E-Class Coupe but in the inside, in the interior is more like a C-Class Coupe. But today we will be testing the all new AMG version of the CLE which comes with a six cylinder. So, so let's get it on. Let me tell you more about the car. We will be doing a full walk around. We'll be talking about the interior and then last but not least, we will be listening to the sound. Let me tell you something about the price first because the sales have already started. The price, the base price for a CLE 53 is at 91,000 euros in Germany. So when you start specking your CLE AMG, you will end up around 110, 120 ish which is a lot of money, honestly. But do you think it's a reasonable price? I mean, nowadays everything is gone more expensive and we have the CLE 53 is extremely high priced. Yes, I get that. What is your opinion regarding that? Let me talk you through the numbers about the performance, the engine. We have the M256M engine. So it's a facelifted version of the 25653 engine, which is a three liter six cylinder engine uh, producing now 449 horsepower, 330 kilowatts, total 560 newton meters of torque. But with the overboost function, we can even reach 600 newton meters of torque, but just for 12 seconds. We do the zero to 100 sprint in 4.2 seconds, but with the additional race start mode that we have with this car here, we can even do the zero to 100 sprint in four seconds. It's pretty cool. All CLEs are actually mild hybrid models. So all of them are coming with the integrated starter generator, but it's not a plug-in hybrid or anything else. It's just really cool supporting the engine, just boosting it with another 20 horsepower-ish. And the top speed of the CLE 53 AMG is limited at 250 kph. But if you have the driver's package, you can even drive up to 270 kph. We have the fully variable all-wheel drive 4MATIC Plus system here. So that means you can actually put 100% of all the power in the rear and have a lot of fun. But we'll be testing that when we drive it because the driving impressions are still under embargo. So stay tuned for that in the future. Uh, we have the CLE 53 AMG here. The exterior paint is called Alpine Gray and is one of the coolest colors you can go for. I really love the spec here. We have the night package as you can see and the night package too that I will be explaining you in a minute. So let's get it on. Let's start talking about this car. The stance, the look. I mean, just the way the car is just standing here on the regular streets of Spain with the sun hitting the car right there it makes this look so good, honestly. The spec is a 10 out of 10, but there's actually something that I don't like about the spec and I will be telling you. Because in my opinion, the Nike Package 2, which gets you the front grill here, the so-called Panamericana grill in dark chrome. Here you can see the dark chrome and then you have the regular chrome also here on the star. I really don't like it. Let me tell you why, because when you actually step a bit more to the back, you can't actually appreciate the shape of the grill. You see that? It just looks like a black black space, you know? It's, it's, it's not that it's really underlining the aggressiveness, the sportiness, especially that we have this, this special grill here, the AMG identity. So I think the Night Package 2 is not a good option. Just go for the Night Package 1 if you're ordering one, because also in the dark, you can't really identify if it's a CLE AMG, just when looking at the front, because you, are, you won't be able to see the front grill because it's darkened out. Hear me out, go for the night package one only don't go for the night package two so with the night package one you will be still having the full chrome grill but all these details here on the side also full finished in black it's a matter of taste but i would say don't do it it's all up to you digital like headlight units is an option here in europe i think it's 
it's from factory front bumper here 53 styling almost looking like a 63 so if people would say this is actually a 63 just by the front i would agree 100 percent just from the look guys i mean this almost looks just from the stance i mean we have a wider body here just with the 53 is the first time ever that a 53 comes with a wider body because the wheel arches here in the front is 57 millimeters wider on each side and on the rear even 75 you can even actually see that here by the stance super special that's something that makes this car so so beautiful for me honestly the front here we have the carbon fiber exterior package you can see all the details around night package yet again looking super cool we have the Alfalterbach amg crest that's coming with all the latest amgs nowadays the power domes here with the outtakes also this is not for the look but i would i wish this was not finished in plastic because you you hear my problem already i don't like the touch and feel of plastic parts i wish this was just finished in like glossy you know i it wouldn't i wouldn't mind now let's talk about the side when talking about the side as i mentioned guys the dimensions of the new cle is actually more of an e-class coupe but then you see and yeah you notice the b pillar why did they actually do it honestly the, the this mercedes could have been one of the best if not the best coupe ever made the only thing that actually triggers me and I'm not really convinced about is the B pillar. That's it. I, I'm, I'm fully in love with this and I think this will be doing extremely good in sales. People already loving it. The only thing that I don't quite like and I'm not really sure about is the B pillar. See? I mean E-Class Coupe was always known and you could instantly identify it. The car without the B pillar, the Coupe. But now with the um, Coupe, with the CLE here, we have it anyways. Let me just close the door again. Also, I have to say the door in general is not as heavy as the E-Class Coupe. Maybe that's because we have the B-Pillar. Could be. I'm not sure. Uh, let me show you the wheels. Multi-spoke wheels. There's actually only two options with the CLE. And that's something that I don't like. I mean, AMG has managed to build an amazing car. Why not give us more options for the wheels? Why not give us 63 specific multi-spoke wheels? They've given us these here, which look perfect in my opinion. Yes, full black here. We're still getting this silver ring all around, 20 inch only. And the red brake calipers in the back, which is also an option. But just to mention it, there's actually only two options, these and the silver ones. That's it. Just same design in silver and same design in black. But I would go, when you do the night package with the Alpine Grey, I would go night package one and these wheels. On the side, Turbo 4 Matic badge, as we have the night package two, it's finished in this dark chrome. That's something I really like. And then here on the side, again, full black finish on this side part, which is not functional at all. It's actually a plastic cover. On the side, as I mentioned, we have the carbon fiber exterior a package so we have the side mirrors finished in carbon fiber also here on the side full carbon fiber finishes uh, regular door handles that's something i really appreciate everything here finished in black gloss and tinted lovely uh, two and a half degree re-axle steering so it turns the rear wheels in the opposite direction under 100 kph and above 100 kph it actually moves the rear wheels in the exact same direction which allows us a more agile and more stabilized driving especially when changing lanes for example it's way faster doing that and way easier 20 inches here as well multi-spoke wheels looking perfect but as i mentioned i wish we had more options you see i really love and enjoy this car a lot we have this design element here is a key element for me the way they move this line merge in the body and then recontinue again here moving all the way to the back and now let's actually talk about the rear oh yes <laughs> this looks absolutely fantastic oh a 53 never looked so good honestly the CLE 53 is just finally AMG is back on track and uh, I mean there have been a few four-cylinder failures let's name them failures which weren't really successful and destroyed the name in my opinion but now AMG is back showing what they can do especially body wise I mean with the wider body here in the back as I mentioned 75 millimeters just look at that at these curves Ooh lovely made in a falterbach you know this is what you get in a falterbach just a line just straight line and then these nice shapely curved <clears throat> looks so good honestly perfectly matched i love it the alpine gray here in the sun looks so good but when it when it gets a bit darker the, the color switches again it looks more darker more nardo color like the like the audi color you know but here we have the rear 
As I mentioned, carbon fiber exterior package also comes with the rear spoiler finished in carbon fiber. I love this, it's a cool detail. As I mentioned, Nike package 2 gives you these parts, gives you these badges finished in dark chrome. And also for the first time ever, the Mercedes-Benz star finished in dark chrome. I've never seen that. Uh, actually, they only do that aftermarket, but now from factory coming. Sealy 53 badge also finished in dark chrome. Amazing. Also Nike package specific exhaust tips finished in black and carbon fiber specific Rear diffuser here, love the details, huge fan. How do you like it? The stance, the look, I wish the car was sitting a bit lower, but with a few mods you can actually do that. And I wish we had the 63 exhaust tips. I wish we had a 63 six cylinder, I would be totally fine with that. I mean, I wish we had a 63 V8, yes, but I don't think they will ever do it. If they do it, this car would be... Mm. It really reminds me of the W205 C63, the previous one, the previous generation, just from the stance, the look. And if there's something that Mercedes can do, it's coupes. They are so good in shaping the body, the design, interior, the look, and then just giving these cars to AMG to <clears throat> smash it off again and building even more, even more beautiful cars. Lovely, let's jump in the inside. Just turning the AC off fully off for you guys so you don't have these weird wind noises in the background we actually have the latest gen mercedes amg steering wheel here looks pretty nice for me i love that flat bottom here with the amg specific emblem right over here we have the steering wheel buttons which i will be showing you in a minute uh, full alcantara dynamica here on the side and leather finish on top and bottom huge fan and then we have the carbon fiber interior package as you can see here we have the center display is complete is really driver focused as the display is actually tilted towards the driver with like six degrees if i'm not mistaken inside here yeah you get two usb C charger ports I've actually plugged in mine and two cup holders pretty cool and then a wireless charging port for your phone lovely and then just looking at these seats these are actually the base AMG seats here there's also an option to go with the bucket seats these come with the Falterbach AMG crest here on the headrest looking really good honestly the uh, seat in general looks pretty nice we have the AMG finish here also on the seat as perforated leather, full black leather finish. It looks pretty basic and normal for me, but as I mentioned, you can go with the Dynamica, with the red details all around, or with the bucket seats, they look pretty cool. Apart from that, yeah, the back seats, we have less headspace, as you can see. You can actually sit here with max two people in the back. I would never do three people, uh, except for like little children or something. Uh, apart from that, yeah, latest MBOX infotainment system. You can actually download third-party apps, Vivaldi Browser, um, Angry Birds, TikTok, uh, YouTube, Zoom, have Zoom calls, but without the camera, just with the audio. Apart from that, we also have the AMG performance menu here, uh, which also comes with the IWC watch. Just look at that, really cool and interesting animation huge fan then you have all the engine information here which is not available yet let me just turn the there we go here you have the power and the torque and also with a cool animation of the car with the engine sitting it's pretty nice to have that and also the vehicle information with a nice cool vehicle uh, animation here as soon as i for example move and steer you see that here with uh, the front and rear wheels. We'll be also demonstrating you that in a minute. On the steering wheel, as I mentioned, we have these steering wheel buttons. With these, you can actually change the driving mode, starting from slippery, individual, comfort, sport, sport plus, and race. So it's an optional race mode with the CLE 53 AMG, which then does the zero to 100 sprint in four seconds pretty cool but now guys let's talk let's just get it on and let's start with a sound check okay the car is actually set sorry for all the reflections guys the car is actually set in sport plus there we go the exhaust is on as you can see here ignition is on foot is on a brake and starting up the cle 53. what a lame start honestly i will restart the car sport plus holding one shifter pedal with my thumb and starting up the car for an emotion start. What is this? Honestly, the startup is really bad. Just honestly speaking, it's extremely quiet. And what I have noticed is as soon as you start up, just you try to hear that, okay? As soon as you start up, actually, 
listen to the speakers. Listen to the speakers. I will just place the camera next to the speakers, listen. You hear when the, um, the fake sound, the synthetic sound kicks in. And that's something I really don't like. Anyways, we are here to hear the car. Three to one, let me just put both windows down. The car is actually warm. I mean, we have 27 degrees here in Spain. Listen to the sound. Okay, it's just fine. It's totally fine, honestly. The sound is good. It's not as good as the previous 53s because these were even louder than this one, to be honest. But let's just jump outside and listen to the sound from the outside as well. Let's go. So it's also the first time for me to hear the car from the outside. We'll be doing an emotion start and yeah, let's just get on. Three, two, one, here we go. Yeah, I am I am honest with you guys, the sound is pretty okay, but the startup is so quiet, honestly. Let's just start up the car again. Just listen to the startup. That's it. That's actually the car starting up. Even in a motion start, even when you like push the gas pedal a little bit, there's not a lot of sound, but when just revving it a few times, you hear it. So how do you guys like the sound of the CLE 53 AMG? I have to be honest, uh, let me just rate it from 1 to 10. I would say it's a solid 6 out of 10. And I think while driving it's it's louder. What do you guys think? In this moment we're talking about a pre-production car, a press car. And uh, maybe the future cars will be a bit louder. Not sure. It's not as loud as the previous 53 models. But it's fine, honestly. The, 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 the sound from the outside is fine, from the inside is not as loud. We will be listening to how it sounds from driving the car in the inside, the feel. And I will be also putting a GoPro while driving just to capture the, the, the real outside sound for you. In the future, the driving impressions are still under embargo, so bear with me. What would you rate this sound from 1 to 10? Please share it in the comment section below. I'm already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.